Okay, I'm in the mood for messing with a, a little bit with Arma 3, and I love the Ravage mod and the Alive mod, but um, I'm just going to be working with the Alive mod. Now, th this is my bat file I use to play with my Arma 3, with all the different mods that I have installed. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to start it up with the Ravage mod and CBA. Uh, oop. Let's go with it. All right, well, let's go into editor. I'm gonna do Tanoa. Let's see what we can do here. Anybody unfamiliar with the Ravage mod, you can create a whole um, your own survival a zombie game. Now you can just go against bandits, or well, you, you'll see when I start doing this. Now, I haven't done this in a while, so I probably have forgotten a few things, but, uh, let me see here, attributes, uh, no, that's not what I want right there, tool settings, environment, no, wouldn't be under environment, uh, see what I'm trying to do here as soon as I find it. It should be under general. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, independents are at war with everybody else. Okay, good. Okay, let's look at ourselves at a starting point here. Alright, well, before we even start adding our player in, what we're going to do is I'm going to be setting up the modules here. Uh, where's Ravage? There it is. See what else they put in here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll put in the ambient AI. Uh, not a fan of zombies, but we'll put it in for this for the sake of this. Loot system. Safe zone. Safe system. We'll put the safe system in here. Uh, put the settings. Survival system, vehicles, okay, let's go through each one of these, ambient AI, main hostile forces will be op 4, uh, what else have they added in here, independent raiders, but since my character is going to be independent, there's going to be autonomous machines, man, those are wild, uh, but anyway, we're just going to stick with the up. Rangers, main faction hunters, zero one hundred chances of group main faction to hunt the nearest player. We'll leave those things at default. Uh, traders pr presence zero. Yes, you can have traders. Um, ambient chatter yes. Car patrols yes. Spawn distance a array of minimal and maximal distance from the player AI. We're going to do the minimum of being like 500. Okay. Oh, crap. The blue four friendly forces. Well, they're not going to be friendly to you because you're going to be independent. Uh, so in that case, there's going to be none. Nobody's going to be friendly to you. Main hostile force, main faction, secondary hostile force will be blue up. Faction, there is a 10%. Actually, you know what we're going to do? 10% for that. 10% for that. Uh, okay. Now let's go to the second one. Ambient zombies. I don't like runners, but we'll just do walkers for now. Bolters. Bolters are those, if you come across the walkers, there's a 35% chance that there could be a, a, a bolter in there. And they bolt at you. They, they go from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. <laughs> the population max can be kind of, you know, depending on what you're looking for. Sun factor, yes. Uh, the sun factor, they'll decrease the spawn rates. Uh, boy, they've changed a few things in here since the last time I played it, used it. Um, boy, have they ever. Uh, horde behavior, no. Wandering bear. Okay, we'll just go with the default for that. Arma 3 structures. Now, I'm using only Arma 3. 
are, uh, at, yes, Arma 3 Apex structures. Now, if you're using any of the other mods, like anything from Arma 2, like from the Cup uh, community, uh, the Namalisk, if you are using any of those things, you select the Ask for it. Now, these are the respawn, civilian loot spawn chances. Uh, it'll tell you just by highlighting here. The first number is the chance of survival items. Next one is weapons, magazines, clothes, and backpacks. Backpacks, I usually will put up to 40 because believe it or not, at 15, you can't find diddly squat. Military loot, uh, <clears throat> again, 40. Industrial loot chances, uh, whatever. Allow respawn camps, so adds deployable respawn camps to backpacks list. Now, I usually will leave it as default, but you can use that. I, I can go, I can make another video. Um, on that but I'm not going to at least not yet anyway oh also by the way the loot system along um, using this let me see ambient furniture now that is really quite a necessary thing for valet it'll spawn in furniture for you okay uh, and loot it up for you as well okay let's go to the save system single player yes now if you do make this into multiplayer you would put that to yes and of course select no. But since it's single player, I'm just going to go with yes for single player. Settings, cleanup system, yes. Enable holster function, yes. Time acceleration, it's for your day. Okay, so if it was one to one scale, it'll be a 24 hour period in real time. But I like increasing so I can have the day and night cycle. Vehicles caching system, uh, I'll leave it at that survival system definitely your hunger rate will be okay we'll leave that at one your thirst rate will be at two at least how I do it now you could put in a radioactive rain and all that stuff but no you don't want to go in that direction not unless you're hateful for each uh, for yourself vehicle damage you can have it as custom is exactly if you're using mods you want to actually have only your specific uh, vehicle spawn then you can uh, for right now, we're just going to go with both for wrecks. Wreck presence will be low. Uh, intact vehicles will be, for this particular instance, it's going to be 100% intact. Burning wrecks is 7 caching distance, so you can go with the default for that. Alright, let me just take a real close look at this. You can do up your own... I'm doing laundry in the background if you're hearing that, actually. Um, okay, we should be good to go. What we're going to do is we're going to set up our <coughs> our location for our player. And since that we are independent, we're going to go with a, well, whoever. Um, no, you wouldn't go with the men's storyline. Survivor. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm trying to remember all of this, edit loadout. Alright. Alright, we're going to go with aid worker. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Okay. We're going to have him start off in the air. So I'm looking for, my eyes are getting bad, tactical backpack, uh, I'm looking for a parachute here. Mm. Yeah, I know it's here, so hold on here. Steerable parachute. There we go. Uh, let's just make sure he doesn't have anything as far as weapons are concerned. I mean, you could give him a weapon. I mean, why not, right? But I'm not going to. Save.
that's just so if I go ahead and I load that up. Okay, where's my character? Let's get in close because there's something I'm wanting to do here. Uh, I want to get my camera on me. There we go. here. Oh, come on, Michael. Why don't you remember these things? Let's pull him up to about here. We're going to save. Test only. Let's play the scenario and see what happens. Any errors, that sort of thing. went right down okay now there are going to be hunters bandits uh, they'll be going to they don't like zombies so they'll definitely be having a field day on that whoa let's slow ourselves down here okay trying to remember how to stand up in this game. Now I haven't optimized the uh, the graphics settings for my for my uh, self yet. We got a walker there. We got two. Of course, you know it depends on the speed of your system. I mean, if you have a mediocre system or a low end system, you can tweak the settings to really play very well. Well, I'm getting some major lag here. Yeah, major, major lag. Oh, I hear a vehicle. Yeah, I'm getting some major lag. Frame rates are crap. Shadows, particle standard, clouds low, low pip, standard, dynamic lights, we go with standard, water reflections disabled. Unfortunately, I happen to own a potato, so. Okay, it's a little better, but I'm getting lag. So. And Arma 3 is not that great of a, it's not really an optimized game, even that all this time. It's not an optimized game at all. All right. Oh, field backpack, good. Did it not add it to my inventory? I'm not seeing it listed. Why isn't that adding to my backpack?
Oh shit. Okay. Let's return to our editor here. Okay. That should be good enough for right now. Uh, let's go into my ambient zombies. Population limit of 25. Global population of 80. Sun fact. Okay, yeah. Voice pitch. Bio horde behavior. Okay. I mean, AI. We're not going to have blue 4 on there. Okay. What you're going to be wanting to do. Spawn distances. Let's go back to 400. Now, the further out distance that you spawn these things are, the more pressure it's going to put on your system. Okay. Friendly forces. None. So everybody you do come across, they're enemies. Um... Save that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to try something interesting here. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Markers. Try to do random spawn points there. that actually go in or no? Oh, right there. Okay. There we go. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I didn't want to group it. Now, if this works, we should be able to spawn in these locations. Now, because I only have, like, only a few, actually, there is a possibility that you may spawn in the same location that you did before, sort of thing. Yeah, there's something really wonky here. There's something going on here. I'm slowing my system down. I don't know what that is. Continue. Ah, Michael, Michael, Michael. Okay, doesn't look like a group that one. Neither that one. Why not? Come on now, Mike. All right, what's going on here? Uh, 
That was weird. Oh, that's what's going on. Son of a bitch. <coughs> okay. Now I know what's going on. Let's do this again. Can't believe I did that. This is what happens when I don't keep doing things. Oh, fuck off. Be right back, guys. I'll continue on recording when I do this. Okay, I finally connected it all up. What ended up happening is that I was using my left mouse scrolling sort of thing, left to right or whatever, or pan, and it ended up dislodging the whole, this whole thing. So anyway, finally got it all connected. We're going to save it, and we're going to play, and let's see. Yeah, there's something wonky going on here. I don't know what the hell it is, but something is... Let me see. Okay, this is definitely not where we spawned last time. So it is working, but we're gonna... I'm gonna die. Poop. Yep. Okay, we're gonna restart. Let's see if we respawn in a different area. Now you can do the same thing for multiplayer and all that stuff as well. Well, let's just see how this goes. Yeah, I'm definitely in a different area this time. So the spawning is working, which is good. But I'm definitely going to have to uh, work on... Um, like, look at this. Arma 3 is a pile of crap as far as optimization is concerned. I used to be able to play this game... Um, with all kinds of stuff installed, and for some reason, Arma 3 just seems to be a pile of shit now. What have they done? Because I've never had this massive issue before. There we go. Never, never. Then again, it is running on the older... game engine. Let's see what's up there. Another zombie. See, I don't like zombies. Especially when I'm playing with the Ravage mod. I enjoy... Like, I will put the settings so that the, the there's zombies, but very few. Oh. We got gunfire. That means the bandits are active. They also drive vehicles, so they'll come after your arse. That's why I'm hoping the modders from Arma uh, 3 will join in and start making mods for DayZ standalone. Got some major activity going on here. Oh, we got an error. But I wouldn't worry about the error. Oh, come on. It's empty. I am going to have to lower the spawn. The spawns of the zombies. Just too many. Let's go get ourselves killed, shall we? Oh, there we go. We just got shot by bandits. Now, I could add in... Now, we could add in friendlies. But you're not really going to know who your friendly is until you're almost on top of them, sort of thing. And that's the thing about that. Let's lower the zombies... Could be zero bolters, population of 10 within your area. 
maximum of 20 or uh, 30 uh, globally there's the safe distance spawn radius is 250 now you can decrease that if you want to pick up a couple of frame rates in a way but the safe distance I want to have the zombie spawn in is going to be a hundred that gives me a little bit more room to maneuver uh, poop. so spawn system is working um, that also will work uh, for multiplayer, but there's other things you can be doing for multiplayer that makes it much more efficient. Uh, let me just make sure here. Now, there is a crafting system in the game itself. Um, any vehicles, because of the setting here, any vehicles I come across, most likely I'll be able to drive with very little issue. But um, outside of that, I just thought I'd tinker and make a video of it. I mean, nothing huge, right? And if everything is the way you would like it to be, then uh, export it out for single player, or if you made it for multiplayer, export it out to Steam for multiplayer. And I have tried this, uh, playing with a few friends of mine in the past, and it works beautifully. Anyway, take care, have a good one, and uh, I don't know, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.